nine now. The Radio Whammo Breakfast. Game Junkie, Gerard Campbell. The game we're looking at uh, this morning with uh, Gerard Campbell, our game junkie at stuff.co.nz, is one called Torchlight. It um, has been available on the PC, I think, but now it's available on the Xbox 360 downloadable arcade. G'day there to you, Gerard. G'day, Wemo. How are you today? Good? Very, very good, thank you. Very good. Um, okay, Torchlight. It's um, available on the arcade, so it's a downloadable title, but um, am I right to say it was on PC at one stage? Yes, it was. It was uh, released on PC first as a downloadable title itself to, I think, a couple of years ago. Um, and then it was released on Mac, and then I think they did a retail uh, version of it for PC. And now they've uh, brought it out to Xbox Live Arcade, and I've just got it running in the background a wee bit. Um, whoops. But, yeah, it's a, um, it's, you know, like with a lot of PC games that you get, uh, put on consoles, you know, it's usually a port and it usually loses things, but this is actually a bona fide um, Xbox version with, okay. um, you know, a control system designed specifically for a controller and not a keyboard or mouse. It looks a little bit um, Dungeons and Dragons-y to me. Very much, a very sort of very Diablo um, you know, and it was it, w- it was said that, you know, it was, a lot of reviewers praise it as a Diablo clone and that's probably not so far from the truth because I understand that a couple of the co-designers on Torchlight actually worked on Diablo themselves, so there's probably a bit of that uh, flavour there. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a classic RPG where you know you're a a lone hero who goes to this town called Torchlight, which sits on above this you know this mine which is rich in this I guess mineral or, or, or stone called Ember, and you know you can use Torchlight as, I guess, the sort of the hub uh, for missions and for stuff to do in quests, you know, and you can get... And it, it's, it's, it's not Torchlight like um, Alan Wake Torchlight? No, it's not. None of that flashlight moving carry-on going on here. Hmm. Um, you know, and so... And then and, and you enter the mines and, and you go down. It's, you know, several levels down, you know, and you're going to get... You can choose to be either an alchemist, um, which is like, you know, your magician type guy. You've got a vanquisher, which is a female warrior who can see traps and stuff. And you can be a destroyer, which is a, you know, a big bulking um, armed combat chap. You know, big swords and that sort of thing. Right. Um, But you also get, you also get like a pet with you, you know, which can help in the fighting. Or you can send your pet back when you've collected lots of gold and stuff, you can send your pet back to the torchlight. But is it a dog a, or something, or a cat? Well, it's, yeah, it's a, no, well, it's hard to tell, because <laughs> with the, um, with, with the Xbox version, you get three, you get three pets to choose from. Yeah. And they sort of look, sort of lizard, sort of dragon-like, but, uh, you can feed your pet fish, which are magical fish, and it will ch- change its appearance. So, huh. you know, I started out with this sort of, little gink, uh, gecko-y, lizardy type thing, and I fed him this magical fish that had caught, and he turned into this huge, big, hulking, purple <laughs> ogre type thing. Right. So, um, I mean, that's pretty cool, because you, you can, you, know, you can, you can uh, get your pet to take an aggressive stance or a passive stance. You can teach them spells so they can help out in the fighting as well. So that, you know, that really helps. And it's... You know, it's really accessible. You know, with with the with the PC version, you know, you move the character by uh, clicking the mouse on a point, then the character would walk to that point. With the uh, Xbox 360 version, you know, you've they've actually revamped the whole control system, so you actually guide where your guy goes using the left analog stick. So, you know, it's it's taken sort of those traditional uh, movement mechanics that games gamers on consoles are used to, and uh, it works really well for the Xbox. And you know, you can map um, different magical spells. To the uh, X, Y, B, and A buttons. You know, you can put uh, like with the Alchemist. You know, you fire magical spells with the right trigger. So the control system works really well, and it's it's just a really entertaining RPG experience. 
and say, could I get online and co-op? Could uh, could we collaborate on this game at all? No, the only the, the only only downside of Torchlight is that it's a single player only. There's no co-op. There's no multiplayer. Um, I don't know whether that's going to come in future. Mm. Uh, you know, because it would be pretty cool. Uh, you know, doing co-op with a mate. You know, maybe. One of you could play as a pet, and one of you could play as a warrior, or, you know, it would add a whole new dynamic. But at the moment, it's just a single-player story only. You know, you're just this lone warrior. So at the moment, no no multiplayer. Uh, but maybe, yeah, maybe that might be something that comes in the past. I'm sure that they're always updating. But there is talk uh, that a Torchlight 2 is in production, so maybe we might see those sorts of features in that one. Okay. But it's, um, I mean, it's it's only, it's only, well, I say it's only, it's 1,200 Microsoft points. Hmm. Which I think works out at. I know you can get sort of sixteen hundred points from some of the game stores for about thirty dollars. So I'd say twelve hundred points is probably around about twenty five dollars, maybe twenty to twenty five probably. Pretty, so in pretty good value. What you It's pretty good value, you know, mm. and it's and it's a pretty small download too. I think it's less than two hundred megabytes in size. Mm. Um, so it's not going to kill your data cap. Um, but I think it's just another example I've spoken to this before of really good quality. Uh, easily digestible downloadable titles that are appearing on things like Xbox Live and that sort of thing you know that you don't have to pay 120 bucks to get a really good gaming experience nice that sounds really good the game is called Torchlight available right now on the Xbox Live arcade system and uh, of course go back and check it out on PC as well Gerard, we'll see you on um, on the technology blog at stuff.co.nz and also on Twitter as well Game Junkie NZ see you next time See you.